Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'm going to show you how to move notes in Dorico so you can change their pitch or their rhythmic position. In my video on selections and navigating in Dorico, which I'll link to here, I showed you how the arrow keys allow you to navigate around the music in any direction. Control or Command on Mac plus the arrow keys let you navigate in larger steps, and Shift plus the arrow keys extend your selection. Well, following on the same theme, Alt plus the arrow keys move notes, either changing their pitch up or down, or their rhythmic position left or right. So if you hold down the Alt key and type the up and down arrow keys, the pitch of the selected note or notes will be modified up or down, diatonically relative to the prevailing tonality. Remembering that adding Control or Command on Mac will often do the same function in larger steps, Control or Command plus Alt and the up and down arrow keys will change the pitch of the selected notes by an octave. Shift plus Alt and the up and down arrow keys will modify the pitch of the notes in semitones, or whatever is the smallest increment in the prevailing tonality system. Holding the Alt key and typing the left or right arrow keys will change the rhythmic position of those notes. Dorico will use the resolution of the rhythmic grid to determine how far to move notes, so choose the duration most useful in your case. It's also possible to move other types of music item in this way, such as dynamics, slurs, or playing techniques. Moving notes over existing music will overwrite that music. If that's not what you want, enable insert mode and existing notes will be preserved, effectively swapping place with the notes you're moving. Just be aware this will have an effect on the rhythmic position of that music. Holding shift and alt while you use the left and right arrow keys will shorten and lengthen notes, again by the duration of the rhythmic grid resolution. This is a great way to edit the duration of notes, and because you can perform this command immediately on the last note you input, it is an easy way to access more complex durations, such as a half note tied to an eighth note. And just to reiterate, all of these commands work on multiple selections, so you can modify as many notes as you need at once. There are also some useful commands for moving notes to adjacent staves. Pressing N and M, will cross notes to the staff above or below for multi-staff instruments. This then extends to Alt plus N or M to move the selected note to the staff above or below, which can be to any pitched instrument. There are also commands for duplicating notes to the staff above or below, to which you can assign your own key commands if they are operations you will use frequently. It's also easy to summon them with the jump bar. There are more advanced commands for transposing that I'll cover in tutorials about editing your music, including the Note Tools popover and the Transpose dialog. But for now, you're all set to modify the pitch, rhythmic position, and duration of your notes. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.